really ought to tell you that uh, after careful deliberation, I've decided to go with Montgomery and Associates. Oh. Holden, what are you doing here? Just helping Ellie bring some stuff over from Walsh. Besides, you did tell me to stop by, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just kind of been crazy here today. Did you talk to Gavin about his offer? Went by Lakeview, rung his suite, but he wasn't there. Oh. I'm hoping to hear from him myself about his decision. Well, we know from Sean and Emily that he's not even going to consider Tonio. Did you let Blake know you were on to him? Yes, and he tried to lie his way out of it. But I told him to pack up and leave. Holden, he just stomped all over our friendship because of ambition and greed. I don't know if I'm cut out for this world of business. <laughs> just proves how sensitive you are. I used to think sensitivity was a sign of weakness. It leaves you vulnerable to being hurt. It's a part of you that's very, very special. Holden? Lily, I hope you've got some time to spend with me now, because we've got a hell of a lot of work to catch up on. The part of Lisa Mitchell is being played today by Jane Powell. Well, I guess I better get back now that the jury has notified the marshal that they've reached a decision. Well, that was quick. I wonder. Mm. Duke, you should be very proud of yourself and what the attorney general said about your petition. Well, I just felt it was only fair the grand jury should know both sides of the story. And so did a lot of other people, too, you know. Dr. Stewart, Dr. Purcell, Casey's nurses, and even Detective Munson here. You signed it? Hey, how could I pass up an opportunity like that? I knew damn well Wallace had the deck stacked against you. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to stick around until the decision is reached, OK? OK. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Mom, I have to tell you something. What, honey? Listen, whatever the jury decides doesn't mean anything to me. Knowing that you understand why I did what I did, that's what's important. That's what means something to me. And it always, always, always will. Well, brought to you today by Tide with Bleach. It'll knock your socks off, and it'll get them whiter than any other detergent. I wish the person who put those tires on the playground had to wash my kids' clothes. So much dirt and tire smut. I gave up. Until Tide with Bleach. Colors are bright with Tide with Bleach. And those whites? Take a dirty sock. Gets only this white with other detergents, but Tide with Bleach gets it gleaming white. It brings back the brightness and newness. Thanks, Marlene Burgett. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Downy rinses in the most softness of any fabric softener. Downy softness is fluffy softness. Once you feel the fluffy softness, you're bound to come on in. Smell the April freshness inside. It's my best come birthday. On in and feel satisfied. April fresh, fluffy soft, Downy. Come on in to Downy. Butterball turkey cold cuts. Any way you slice it, they're delicious. Butterball ham, butterball bologna, or butterball smoked turkey breast. They're up to 98% fat-free and all butterball. So any way you slice it, it's... Delicious! Last night I dreamt of a pasta salad made not just with Italian dressing, but mixed with a creamy, tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Dip divine. The Zip Dip. Just mix Italian dressing and Miracle Whip salad dressing. The dream salad. Don't dream it, taste it. All right, I can spend some time with you right now. But I'm kind of tired, so I don't know how coherent I'm going to be. Well, look, I don't want to push you into anything, but if we're going to fly down to Houston in a couple of days, we both better have some good background knowledge on Cal's plastics division. You're right. You're right. I'm going to go get the rest of Ellie's stuff. Oh, isn't she coming in? Uh, yeah, but 
She's waiting in the car while I'm double parked. You know, maybe I've been a little too easy going up until now, but that's just because I've had some insecurities I couldn't get past. Anyway, from here on in, I'm going after whatever I want. Are we talking about your job with Cal? What else? Are we still on for tomorrow night? Yes, yes. But I like the idea of an early dinner so we can go back to the farm and have cake and ice cream. Sure, it's no problem. Are you sure somebody didn't tell you it was my birthday tomorrow? Hey, guys. Where to go? Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Emily just Hi. finished uh, filling me in on the Blake situation. I just can't believe that he was cozying up to Tony while he was still working here. Yeah, I can't believe it either, but it's true. It's too bad. I, poor Jess. I mean, I wonder if she knows this side of him. Mm. Oh, she's too bright to miss something like that. I mean, she was with him when he made the switch from Walsh to here, right? Mm. Hello. Well, hey. hi. Hi. Hey, hey, um, hey, hold on. Let me help you with that. No, that's okay, Paul. Where do you want these? In Ellie's new office, which is right next to your old one. Hold on. I didn't know you worked here. Well, it was Holden and Craig who got our, this business back from Tonio, and it was certainly Holden's work to put this company back on the map. <laughs> Ellie, did you run into the Lucinda when you were... Actually, I did run into the Lucinda, and she was very, very nice to me, very polite. She invited me, and I'm out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to be here. That's great. You know, my mom is excited, too, uh, after all the work you did for BRO. Well, I'm excited to work with BRO. And I don't have to work with Olivia anymore. <laughs> That's Ellie, great. your office looks great. Oh, it's kind of like mine. <laughs> I think it's champagne time. What a great idea. Yeah. Well, champagne <laughs> time. Champagne time toast yeah, you. Oh, great. Well, you know, I hope we get Gavin Kruger. I mean, otherwise, it's, I'm going to feel <clears> guilty if it doesn't work out. Ellie, we are proud and lucky to have you, whether we get Kruger or not. Well, thank you. Well, you know, Craig still has royalties in this, and if we get Kruger, it'll help him out, too. That'd be nice. Okay. It's here, here we go. Now, what should we drink to? Uh, we're going to drink to Ellie's success. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's also drink to loyalty and honesty. Two things that I've learned are very important in any relationship, personal or professional. Here, here. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome. Well, I confess I feel a little out of place celebrating my decision with the competition. Oh, but why? I love champagne, anyway. I've loved champagne since the first sip of it I ever had. And why can't business people who respect each other sit down? <laughs> anyway, Walsh has lost you as a client, but we can go down in style. Well, I'll certainly drink to that. To success, to the biggest coup that my daughter has ever had, and may the people over there service you well. Now, Gavin, I was wondering if my returning early from Zurich had any bearing on your decision. Ah. No. Several factors contributed to my going with a smaller firm this time around. Oh, Gavin, how long is your contract with Montgomery & Associates? <clears throat> well, I haven't signed it yet, but uh, I think I'll be trying for the normal six-month trial period. Ah, oh, oh, that's very wise. Jane, aren't you having any champagne yeah. with us? Well, I haven't touched champagne since the night uh, I ever won the contest. Ah, very wise, Jane. Mm -hmm. I better be going. Oh, please, have another glass. No, no, I have things to do and I have to keep a level head. I understand Thank that you. you're talking to Holden Snyder about a position. Yes, his record with Lang is pretty impressive. Very, very astute young man. I taught him everything that he knows. I'm giving a party, a surprise birthday party, so please don't give away the surprise from my daughter Lily tomorrow. And I hope that you will be able to come and bring Jade, too, of course. Well, I can't say yet, but uh, I'll have Jade get in touch with you. All right. Thanks again. All right. Have a good afternoon, <laughs> Jane. Well, brava, brava, Lucinda. You showed a lot of class. class hey, hey, well, don't throw it all away now. You know, you know why he did this, of course. Why? Well, you know why. Because you came back. You came back. I mean, because of Ellie, you left his business in Zurich. You mean, I you just... You gotta know that. I just asked him if it contributed. He said no. I think what did it was that you drove Ellie to M&A and he okay, went along. let's not argue. Amongst ourselves, we've got six months to turn the Kruger situation around, and we're going to do it. 
Hey, you guys. Oh, man. The streets hey. and the main floor, they're, they're packed with, with photographers and reporters and camera crews. I just figured I'd stop by and see what's going on. I'm glad you did, there. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Hey, Glad you came by. Listen, are you going to be free for dinner later on? No, I got roped into going to Courtney Baxter's party. Don't ask me oh. how. Mm -hmm. How's Margot doing? Uh, she seems to be doing okay. Well, excuse me, there's Andy. Listen, I haven't had a chance to tell you. I have to go on a PR trip for a couple of days. Just two or three. Oh, hon, where to? Can't you send Dick? No, I can't. Evidently, I'm about to use my two top New York accounts to simply Barbara. I just can't let that happen. No, I know how much this means to you, but I'm going to miss you. Just a couple of days. Honey, I, with all the excitement, I forgot to tell you that um, Franco Biscotti called Fashions twice this morning to tell you that he was leaving town tomorrow. Well, let's hope he's going straight to Rome. Could be. I have no idea. Lila, I am so glad to see the closeness back between you and Margo. Yeah, well, I, I think it might take a while till things are completely back to normal. Well, the important thing is you've made a start, because if this guy Wallace gets an indictment, Margo's going to have to go on trial. Please, and gonna... please, I don't want to think about that, OK? Yeah. Mo, Mo, uh, why don't you let me take you home now? Huh? Oh, Joe, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not going anywhere until I know the jury's decision? Blake, I really don't know if I feel up to talking this all out tonight. Yes, yes we have. Lily and Sean heard rumors that I was talking to Tony and they fired me from M&A. Well, it really wasn't rumors, was it, since you told me this morning you were going to work for Tonio? Look, I know you don't think much of Tonio, but I'm, <laughs> starting tomorrow, I've got the opportunity of my lifetime. Well, I think it's a pretty high price to pay. Well, maybe it was a false alarm. I mean, if they come to a decision, we... <laughs> I'm going to find out what's happening and let you know. No, 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 I'm coming with you. Kitchen sinks have to be ready for anything. So it's nice to know that whatever touches your sink is touching a deep down clean surface. Introducing Better Cleaning Comet with Chlorinol Plus, a power bleach that penetrates tough, greasy food stains better, going deep into those tiny crevices where dirt gets trapped. Dirt other leading cleansers can leave behind. So your kitchen sink is ready for anything. New Comet with Chlorinol Plus. Deep down, you know it's better. How to bake moist, delicious brownies and survive an ambush. Take some cowboys and Indians, one piece making mom, and Duncan Hines double fudge brownies. The one with thick fudge, not syrup. Watch fudgy rich batter become fudgy moist brownies. Cut through crinkly top and get ready for the stampede. Because Duncan Hines double fudge brownies taste better. How to bake your moist, delicious best. Duncan Hines. The stress headache, relentless, tightening, stretching. When the pain has you at the lid, take Anison. Anison, or aspirin-free Anison 3. Strong pain relief for today's stress headache. I love when it's summer, cool breezes, fresh air. When I want that feeling, summer's eve takes me there. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's eve brings back freshness anytime. A new team of heroes is heading your way. Their mission to stop the crimes committed against our planet. This is not a drill. This fall, join Earth Force on CBS. You ready to give us the grand jury decision? They denied my request for an indictment. <laughs> See you at the studio for the taping, right? It's over. This is Hughes. I just wanted you to know how pleased I was with the decision. Thank you, thank you. I just wanted to make plans for our baby and get things back together. It's going to be great to have you back in the office. Duke, I am sure that uh, your petition with all the signatures on it was very helpful in influencing the jury's decision. Wow. Just did it all for Casey. I think I'm ready to go now. Uh, well, uh... Shouldn't we wait for Lila? Well, she has Duke and Leanne to take her home. All her family and friends are here now. And I'm sure that uh, you bringing your husband's tape was a deciding factor in the jury not coming through with an indictment, Mrs. Peretti. Oh, Casey would have been happy to hear that. Uh, Lila, we'll uh, see you at home. Oh, okay. Excuse 
Excuse me, excuse me, Maureen. Okay, look, I know you're never going to understand why I did it, but you heard Casey's voice on the tapes. You know that it was his decision. Look, that... I'm tired of hearing people say they know Casey would have been happy or this is what Casey would have wanted. I think I knew my son as well, if not better than most of you. He believed in justice. I don't think your crime should go unpunished, Margot. But maybe living with what you did for the rest of your life will be punishment enough. Well, I was wrong, Tom. It's not over. I don't think it ever will be. Hi. Hi. Oh, these are my friends. Everybody, this is my friend L.A. and this is, oh, of oh, course, nobody else. Hi, L.A. Hi, Zach hi. and Michael. Hi. Okay, first I want to rearrange the furniture. I, wait, I don't think we should because Mrs. Stewart's not here. No, we got a dance. Come on, nobody's going to know. Oh, put it back. Just wait. Oh, okay, have you got back another bottle? Let's see here, too. Okay. What can I do to help? Oh, I don't want you to help. I just wanted you to come. But come on. Everybody, this is Franny Hughes. Hi, I suppose you don't know her. She's my brother Sean's girl. Yeah, uh, so tell me what I can do to help. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot. I mean, we're only having sodas and non-alcoholic punch since Andy's coming. And then uh -huh. we're going over to Bianca's later for a swim. Smart thinking. Uh, what about food? Well, Bianca's been slaving all day over these incredible casseroles from my takeover of chips. Great. Oh, my. You are. <laughs> I know. So, so how's everything with Sean? Well, we've had a couple of good talks for it. No big change. Franny, maybe, um, if you could tell me what turned you off by him, you know, maybe I could help. Court, you know, Sean is the one that you should talk to about that, not me. Fat chance he'll tell me anything. Another volunteer. So are you guys going to tell me what I can do to help or what? Well, I'm just putting out these Granny. candles. Oh. Guess who's here? Hi. Hi. It's new. It's improved. It's just bursting with extra skin conditioners. Jurgen's Vitamin E and Lanolin Skin Conditioning Bar. Now, just bursting with extra skin conditioners. Joanna. Charles. Theirs was a love affair. A love of butter stopped short by cholesterol. I've dreamt of giving you this. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter is still the only spread flavored with real sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste, but without the cholesterol to spoil the romance. I never thought I'd be swept off my feet again. I can't believe it's not butter, the taste you love without the cholesterol. with real fruit juice. Me. I was only thinking of me. OB tampons that have always given me all the protection I want. And there's no applicator. No bother. Then this environment problem came along. I suddenly realized with OB, no applicator to throw away means no waste. OB. Everything I want, no waste. OB. Want not, waste not. A case of mistaken identity costs an innocent man... Life confined. ...his freedom. Dabney Coleman, Paul Winfield, and Dorian Harwood guilty of innocence tonight. She knows him as a judge and as a lover. She doesn't know he's also a killer. Victoria Principal is trapped in a naked lie Sunday. been on the horn with three possibilities for the new PR head. Good. See? You can lose a battle and not lose a war. Yeah, but I still can't get used to not having Ellie on the team. I don't mope. You know, just think of the bonus you're going to get when Gavin Kruger comes back at the end of his six months, okay? 
You're a piece of work, you know that? Sometimes I lose my sense of humor. But I didn't build this place up from very little and admitting my defeats. No, <clears throat> just by marrying old man Walsh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, Mr. Walsh was old. But I liked him. He was all right. He was old. The business was old and tired and floundering. He taught me well. And I whipped it into shape almost single-handedly. Well, it's a good thing he didn't have any heirs to fight you for it. You don't know very much about the business that you're working for, darling. I mean, the business that gives you the bonuses and gives you the money to buy yachts and baubles for your girlfriend and restaurants and all that kind of thing. Mr. Walsh had a son. Ooh. He was a wimp and a jerk. <laughs> no, he didn't like business. He didn't like business or anything like that. He liked to spend. He loved to spend the money. He fought me about the inheritance in the courts. Needless to say, I won. What happened to him? Died. He abandoned the failure that was his life. Oh, well, you're all hard. Jane, what's the matter? What are you carrying that? I told you to put that in the safe, in the little safe. It wouldn't fit. I took it to the larger safe in accounting, and there's no room there either. Too much gold, right? I'll take yeah. care of it. I'll Good. cut it down to size. I'll sort things out. Put it in my little safe. I want to have it easily accessible. What's so precious? It's nothing important. It hasn't anything to do with you. I'm glad you stopped by. Holden was looking for you. Oh, really? Yes. Maybe we should talk over a drink. How about my suite at the Lakeview? That sounds good. Good. Here are some champagne. Thank you. Before Holden and I leave, I would like to make first a toast and then a little announcement. Firstly, to Ellie. May she be a knockdown success in her new position at Montgomery to and Ellie, Associates. Ellie. Yeah. Thank you, Gavin. And now, uh, for the real reason I came oh. by here. I finally made a decision on who is going to handle the management of all of my North American holdings. Montgomery and Associates. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank you know, even the coffee tasted somehow better back then. I guess that's why those Maxwell House folks slow roast their 1892 coffee. Didn't even change the way they used to make it. Introducing Maxwell House 1892 coffee. Made with old-fashioned pride. The way things used to be. When people look at you, what do they think? You're too young to go gray. You are planning to wear your gray like a badge. You're just too busy to keep up your looks. You could cover your gray with loving care. It has no peroxide. It's as gentle to the hair as a shampoo. And it gives you a beautiful match to your natural color. Really, is there a choice? Gray hair or loving care? When it's late and your productivity is falling off, you can splash a little water on your face, or better yet, revive with Viverin. Government-appointed experts say it's safe and works, and all you need is one glass of water. So revive with Viverin. How did we improve on palm olive dishwashing liquid? First, we came up with six beautiful new designs. Then we poured everything we knew about dishwashing into them. The Palm Olive Decorator Collection. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Don't miss the concert of the year on The Young and the Restless. This is CBS. Positively fast. Positively fun. Positively fattening. Positively Virginia. 
weekdays on 5.30 Live, only on TV6. Next time on Hard Copy, would you pay $165,000 for a pair of used shoes? Well, somebody did for the ruby slippers Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz. They're all quite magical. They're all very powerful. I'm back! Then ex mayor Ed Koch is no longer his honor, but he's still the apple of New York's eye. I don't think it's undignified at all. I, I, I feel very dignified. Expect an eyeful on Hard Copy. Hard Copy, tonight at 7 on TV6. The law offices of Marks and Harrison. Our clients work hard for a living. When they need our services, they get our very best advice and help. In Marks and Harrison, we're prepared to assist you with accident and injury claims, and you can meet with a lawyer for free. In fact, we're not paid unless we win your claim and you collect. Every single case gets our full attention because we believe the law should work for you the way it was meant to. Our job's not done until it does. Marks and Harrison. Put more than 70 years of experience on your side. TV's hottest hour, weeknights on TV6. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Oh, oh my Hey, hi, honey. <laughs> Hello, honey. How was your day with Katie, huh? Marilyn says he's a pretty good guy. Yeah, Mommy really missed you. Mm. Yeah. How's Mama? Oh, she's wiped up. She's okay. Um, she's over with, uh, Duke and Leanne, and the Paredes are with her. Invited right over, she begged off them. Hey, there's my slugger. You mind if I take this guy for a while? Yeah, you know knows. what? One of these days, we are gonna play some ball. <laughs> what do you think? I can see that you're dealing with the Adam situation much better since you got back, Barbara. Well, it was my not dealing with it that caused all the trouble before I left. Well, this fall, when you and Hal have one of your own, things will be very different. I'm just glad that all the results came back from my amniocentesis showing that everything was okay. <laughs> I feel so tempted to ask the sex of the baby, but, you know, I want a boy so bad I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> I don't think it'll make any difference to either one of you when the time comes. Mm. Who's your date? Uh, who are you taking to Courtney's party? Lois Wilson. She's a model, works with Dean Avian. Boy, you like the models, don't you, Andy? It's not because of Julie, Dad. That's, I'm just glad that after everything that Julie and I put each other through, we can still be friends. Well, I hope, I hope so, because she'll probably be at that party that Lucinda's throwing for Lily, and she'll be there with Caleb. Lucinda thinks she may invite all the Snyders. Well, that's good. That's good for her. I gotta get going. Can I give you a ride? Yeah, I gotta change anyway. That's very true. So long, everybody. Thank you. See you. Listen, Andy, you know, I have a feeling that Lena's has really been cheated on her summer vacation with everything that's been going on. So I've given her instructions that she's to have lots of parties and invite lots of people over, and I hope that you'll be part of it. Yeah, sure. Of course I will. Andy, listen, I know things have been a bit strained since Leanne's accident, but I'm certainly willing to put that behind me if you are. Of course I am. You bet. Thanks, Tom. Absolutely. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later, buddy. Tom, that really meant a lot to him. Uh, I'd like to have everybody's attention, please. During all the excitement, we've forgotten to announce something that really is a cause for celebration. A dear friend of ours has just gotten engaged to a gentleman that we hope to become as close to as we are to Jess. Blake and Jess, may your life be the happiest of any life around. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, have you set the date? No, not yet, Matt. Oh, I'm not going to let her off that easy. And when we do set a date, you are all invited to another celebration. Oh. Hey, oh. And I've talked to the commission. Oh. I'm going to have your old desk back tomorrow morning. Oh, Mac, that is great. But hey, who's going to take your old parking ticket? Oh. 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 That old back room. Hi. Come on in. Hey, is Mac here? Yeah. Thank you sure. talk to him. Right over here. Yeah. Come on in. Hey, Joe. Right. Well, you must have heard the news that she's got her old desk back. <laughs> Well, that doesn't mean that your new promotion, a full detective, is going to be taken away from me. You get to keep it. Oh, thanks. But the reason I'm here is to tell you there's a whole new wrinkle to the McKechnie case that I want to run by you. Mm -hmm. I wish I was here when you and Casey fell in love. <laughs> that was a real crazy time. He was living here as a boarder. And uh, I knew that there was some differences in our ages, you know. And even though I was falling in love with him, I just... I wouldn't allow myself to admit it. <laughs> but he kept on chasing you anyway. Yeah. Got you to finally give up and marry him when, when you were in New York. Yeah. Oh, I kind of regret.
regret wasting a lot of time there when I was afraid to commit, but I guess it's just part of uh, the wonderful, crazy memories I'll have. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't believe Craig. I mean, he was in shock when he found out about us. Marco, she was all for it from the very beginning. And I think that's when KC and Marco really got close. Because KC always knew that Marco was on his side. And he was right. Yeah. Uh, Joe's calling the airlines, trying to get us a flight back tonight. Oh, so soon? Well, I think it's best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Booked on an FPM flight direct to Boston. Oh. Well, actually, we should get going. Oh, that's right. If you need right. us, uh, you can call some of Mrs. Stewart. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll be okay. Bye. Have a good stay. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Katie, bye-bye. 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 Bye-
And now, at participating Hallmark stores, shoebox sweatshirts. Save the world. We may need it later. Just $7.95 each with any $5 Hallmark purchase. There are only two times I feel stressed. Yay! I'm right. Only at stores listed in Thursday's paper. Congratulations, Lily. <laughs> I'm just in shock. I can't believe. Do you realize that I beat out Lucinda? Yes, yes. I know how it feels. <laughs> I wanted you to know, Ellie, that uh, Lily's bringing you over had a lot to do with my decision to go with Montgomery. Well, thank you, Gavin. I think we'll work well together. I'm sure we will. Now, if I could only get your brother to work for me, I'd have two prize members of the Snyder family. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. I think Holden's hesitancy to take that offer is because he wants to work closer to home. He doesn't really want to live in England. Is that right? I would have thought that he'd want to work near his wife and child. Thanks for the tip, though, because uh, I'll change my approach next time I talk to him. Courtney, I can't even hear you. Zach, can you turn the music down? Thank you. Sorry, we're just warming up for the party. Yeah, I can hear that. Is Sean there? No, he's not. He just left a couple of minutes ago with Franny. All right, I have some very good news for him, so give him a message to call me, okay? Yeah. Oh, and Lily, by the way, while I have you on the phone, I would really love it if you would come by. Please, come on, you could relink too. I might just do that. Great. See you later, then. Okay, bye-bye. Hold on. Why don't we have that drink over at the Yacht Club? Okay. Whatever you want. Okay, good. You know something, Lily? Why don't you come over to that party with me? I'm sure Sean's gonna drop by and we'll give him the good news in person. And do you want to come along? Because I know they're gonna plan to move the party over to Lucinda's pool house and you'll end up at home. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Oh, great. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Oh, darling, I would have I wanted to go home hours and hours Each ago, but Kirk has got to find a PR lady to replace or person. Ellie, <clears throat> Gavin Kruger. Went with Montgomery and Associates. He's with Lily now? If you want to know what that slimy Swiss... He came here to announce it to us. Never mind. I'm going to get him back. <sighs> Could we just drop all this oh. and go home? I want to go yes. home. I've been down I at do that too. courthouse all day. Let's I go. I want to be with you. Yeah. I need you. I need, I need you, need too. To be with you. Sorry Let's go home. Come on. All right. We're going home, Jane. Home. All right. Oh, I want to say something to you, Jane. Yes, it's about Ambrose. I love that old man dearly. You watch his heart. Hi, John. Hi, Kirk. Not too hot with Ellie gone, I guess, huh? Nope, not at all. I just talked to her over at M&A. They're having a big celebration. Yeah, well, we're going to have a big celebration, too. We'll That's get right. Kruger. Well, you... We'll Come on. We're going home. Your foot. So long. I got Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Don't... Ever let Lucinda get involved in your personal life, Jane. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that she's glad that Ellie's not here. I miss her already. So do I. Well, you have a good time tonight, all right? I plan to. And I'm not telling Lucinda. The great thing about Reynolds Wrap is it's the one wrap you can depend on to protect your food in the freezer. Nothing works like Reynolds Wrap. Everyone loves the taste of Hellman's real mayonnaise. Potatoes have eyes for Hellman's. Onions cry for Hellman's. Lobsters squawk over celery stalks and food loves Hellman's. The rich, creamy taste of Hellman's. It makes foods you love best taste even better. Hellman's has the taste you love. Good food gets better. Just put it all together with the one best mayonnaise. Yes, food loves Hellman's. So bring out the Hellman's and bring out the best. 
time you turn on a TV, it seems AT&T is trying to keep you from switching to Sprint. Well, we don't think they're giving you the whole picture. You see, Sprint has 24-hour operators. You can call all over the world. Our fiber optics make your calls sound better than AT&T's. Plus, we offer better overall savings than AT&T. And we will put it in writing. So, uh, you going to switch to Sprint, or would you like me to repeat myself? Call Sprint now and switch. There's nothing I love more than beautiful colors, wherever I find them. My way is Haynes Her Way. Haynes Her Way cotton panties. Come see how pretty cotton panties can feel. My way is Haynes Her Way. Have fun. Getting out and enjoying yourself. That's what life is all about. And it's easy when you have the best bladder control protection. And Depend Elastic Leg Undergarments give you the best protection yet with Absorblock. A super absorbent system that locks in 25% more. They're the best protection and the best way for you to get back into life. Hey! <laughs> get back into life with Depend. With Absorb Lock Protection. Anyway, when I was going through the ledges that uh, I confiscated from Deming's Realty Office, I found an entry stating that 75% of his original investment to buy a riverfront property here was put up by an organization called Oakdale Civic Enterprises. That name rings a bell. I can't place it. I had it checked out. It's a subsidiary corp of Reyes Management. But that's the same dummy corp he used to buy up W-O-A-K. Right. The records show that uh, Deming put up 10%, Colin and Matty Burke only in for 5 and the other 10% came from small investors. But with both Deming and Matty Burke dead now, and Colin on the lam, it looks like Reyes Management owns almost three miles of Oakdale's River. I wonder if Tonio was involved in the whole scam to get the Duncan McKechnie warehouse. Well, it's another case of not being able to prove it. Well, if we could find Crowley, get the proof we need, we might be able to get something on Reyes he couldn't lie his way out of. Yeah. Joel, don't release this yet until we find out what Reyes's next move is. Yeah. You and me both would like to know. So really, Mama, really is talking much more easily about Casey? Yeah, you know, and I think once the Freddies leave, it's going to be a lot better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> hey, is that your outfit, new one? Well, yeah, something wrong with it? Well, no, it's okay, it's okay. And honey, you looked a little more ready for a party in your other outfit before you changed. Uh, bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 So Bye. I'd give my right arm to be that age again. Uh, not me. Oh, Jessica, lighten up. Being engaged is supposed to make you young at heart. Ah, oh, it's a great Hi. Hi, brother. Hey. Hi. You see that? Uh, yeah, he's with Dr. Hennessy, and they're about to remove his spot. Um, I just wanted to come over and say how relieved I am for you. Oh. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, I, I just want you to know it always means so much to me that you're one of the first ones to understand. Oh. Oh. Hey, how's Sean? Wait, Jessica, right. Joel Higgins. I don't know. I, things just aren't the same as they were before the trial. Right? It's just really made a difference that I can't seem to get past. I, I'm still very attracted to him. I guess I'm just going to have to figure out a way to, to get past that until I'm ready to make a commitment again. But, honey, you've got great instincts. You're going to be fine. I don't know. I don't know anymore when it comes to men. I'm going to miss you while you're gone, Barbara. Well, I'm going to miss you, too. You know this trip came up so suddenly, I haven't even had a chance to tell my son. Oh, you can probably find him at Courtney's party over at Ellen's. Oh, good idea. I think I'll stop there on the way home. I miss you already. Uh, oh, come on. It's just a couple of days. Yeah, I know, but I told Tom and Margo I'd be spending more time here with Adam now that I'm batching it again. Well, at least this trip's not going to be like the last one. Huh? I guess I don't have to tell you, you're a lucky guy. <laughs> you're right, you don't. <laughs> Hello. Why, well, yes, she is. May I say who's calling? Just a minute. Barbara, it's Franco Visconti. He says it's urgent. This is my grandmother's living room. Uh, yes, but I promise we'll put it back just the way it was. Uh -huh. <laughs> Courtney, did, did Sean get my message? Uh, 
No, uh, I don't know. I put a message on his door. Hopefully. Um, so does your cheese, fruit, and your food. Okay. You know, I'm glad you decided to come with me. So am I. You know, I've been working so hard on the scavenger oh, country. Count. I haven't had time for anything. Sounds like me working in my mom's business. You know, Paul, I hope you're going to consider going back to college. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking about it, but I'm kind of torn between two worlds. I mean, half of me says that I'm past that, and the other half says that I can't continue without finishing my education. Well, I hope you concentrate on the second half. I, I know that I regret not going to finish it college, you know? Ever since I met your dad. Ever since you met my dad, right? Yeah. It changed my life. I guess there's no use denying that. Oh, Courtney, uh, this is Lois Wilson. Lois, this is Courtney Baxter. Ah, an actual introduction. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> nice. Why don't you guys, uh, you know, yeah, thanks. meet everybody. Oh. Hey, hey, how's it going, you guys? Hi. Uh, Emily Paul, this is Lois Wilson. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Hey, Lois. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Andy, um, you know, busy later. We talk something that's kind of important. Yeah, sure. Of course. All right, want some punch? Yeah. <laughs> so, where's Rini tonight? Well, she had to work late. And Emily's at the office, so I asked her to come with me. Uh, you know, somehow that doesn't surprise me. You think the music's loud enough? I thought you were going to trust me, brother. I do. You gave me a note saying I need to talk to Li Lily. Hi. I'm here. Hi, Courtney. Hi. Hi. I've got some news for you, partner. Maybe you better sit down for this. I'll take a chance. We signed Gavin Kruger. We signed Gavin Kruger. Emily. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, Emily. <laughs> I guess I haven't congratulated you properly, have I? <laughs> of a new CoverGirl makeup with a look so light, so faultless. It's called Perfecting Makeup. Now feel the light of color so weightless, it feels beautifully bare. New Perfecting Makeup in a pump. The light makeup from CoverGirl. As close to perfect as you can get. La Coupe. La Sleek. Is la fashion. La bang bang. For la hair. La do. La coupe. La coupe hair care. Try the hot dogs so full of lean, fresh meat that they plump when you cook them. Ah! Ballpark Franks. Handsome carrying case not included. While we've never put sugar or filler into ballpark franks, we have recently added something. About an inch. Announcing new ballpark bun size franks. As always, they plump when you cook them. The great thing about Reynolds Wrap is it's the one wrap you can depend on to protect your food in the freezer. Nothing works like Reynolds Wrap. Thank oh, you're welcome. Thank you, and hey, Jess, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Maybe I'll call you tomorrow. We can have lunch? Maybe you should. Great. So I hope the news we got from Higgins about Tonio being involved in this real estate scam is enough to nail him with this time. I don't understand. Apparently he set up some kind of dummy corporation was buying up all the waterfront. Huh. We'd better go. Oh, Good after night. you, Don. Good night, Congratulations guys. again. Both Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Appreciate bye, -bye. it. Bye-bye. Right, Okay, is it my imagination or something really off between those no. two? No, it's not just you. Jessica is definitely not as happy as a woman should be who just got engaged. I'd be dancing on the rooftops. <laughs> yes, you would, Mom. Well, <laughs> it's not that impossible. <laughs> Dick Wolf is coming over to the Mona Lisa tonight and have dinner with me. Mm -hmm. Second time in a week. Go for it, Lisa. <laughs> No, seriously. Oh. oh, honey, I am so thrilled for you. Thank you. It's over. <laughs> and the jury realized what I knew from the very start. 
Oh, Lisa, you don't know how much that means to me. I'm still trying to get Tom to say he thinks I did the right thing. Oh, you will in time. It's hard for Tom to admit when he's wrong. The trade he inherited from Bob. No. It was wonderful. Ooh, bye -bye. Good night, Lisa. Bye. Tom? We are alone at last. <laughs> You know what I recommend? Mm. We take a video upstairs and some mm -hmm. popcorn and mm -hmm. some licorice. Mm -hmm. Just like old times? Mm -hmm. Yep. Watch how quick I get rid of whoever that is. I'm timing uh, you. Go ahead. Go! Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hi! hi. Well, uh, Joe and Maureen, Maureen left, and the house seemed a little lonely, so Katie did, and I decided, eh, we'll just drop by. I, I hope it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Mommy, you don't know how much I wanted this. I just didn't think it was ever going to happen. Oh, sure. Bing. <laughs> well... I'm going to sleep real well tonight with this news. <laughs> Great. What you need is to go make everything right with Franny. I'm working on it. Okay. Courtney, we'll see. Forget it. I'll tell her. Okay. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Lil, this party's a little noisy for me. How about we drive out to a little lake I found not too far from the farm? It's like a nice little moonlight swing. Well, I thought we'd all over, go over to Lucinda's and we'd swim there. I just prefer something a little more <laughs> private. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, <clears throat> it's my party, and I think we should double cut. Uh, okay. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey. Hey. <clears throat> Courtney's a real piece of work. Duke doesn't seem to mind. Uh, Bianca, can you get that, please? Please. You should see the food that Bianca has prepared. She's been slaving away. You're gonna love it. No kidding. No kidding. Hey. Mom, what are you doing Sorry. here? Something wrong? Uh, no, 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 not at all. It's just that I didn't get a chance to tell you. I have to head out to New York tomorrow for a little PR work. <laughs> well, uh, something must have come up after I left the loft, huh? Yes, it did, as a matter of fact. I'll just be gone a couple of days. Okay. Well, I'm glad you told me. Mm-hmm. Good news. M and A got the Gavin Kruger account. Really? Well, Lily must be thrilled. Yeah, she is. Honey, where's Rini? Uh, well, Rini had to work late, so I came with Emily. Thank you, my darling. Oh. Oh. Peace and quiet. Yeah. Oh. Don't Bianca and Courtney get here with all the screaming little kids. Darling, don't forget, we got another party tomorrow night. Lily's party. How can I forget? I've been losing sleep over it. How are you going to get around inviting Holden? Oh, stop teasing me about that. I'm working on it. Yeah, I bet you are.
MCI Primetime. Call now. Get one month free. At 43, Connie Chung's done it all, except giving birth. And this week's People features Connie and other After 40 Americans going for it. Stars like Midler and Close, and Everyday Housewives succeeding. This week, beating the biological clock. People, that's what we're all about. Introducing Summer's Eve Feminine Baths. The bath and shower moisturizing cleanser designed especially for a woman. Gentle, non-irritating. It leaves your skin soft. Bring back freshness this gentle new way. Summer's Eve Feminine Bath. Here comes a small wonder. Here comes comfort for constipation. A laxative called Dulcalax. It's comfort coated. Dulcalax is the only leading overnight laxative that is. It's specially coated not to upset your stomach. And more doctors are comfortable recommending Dulcalax than other overnight laxatives. For overnight relief, try gentle, comfort-coated Dulcalax. Small wonder. Tonight, a daring mountaintop rescue. Help! I didn't want to end up on that ledge. It was too much more to go back home to. On Rescue 911. Somebody move! Jake is caught in the crossfire of a Chinatown gang war, and this time he's in a little too deep. Jake and the Fat Man. Then, families torn apart by drugs and despair. Kids, mom and dad are going to jail. Somebody's child, an all new 48 hours on a special night, Wednesday. Coming up tonight on 5.30 Live, there is no KKK on Oregon Hill, but there is racial tension. City police, city officials, and the people who live there are doing their best to try to defuse it. We'll have the story on 5.30 Live. by Regina Porter. 